Have you ever needed a suggestion for what function you need to be calling while writing code? Well, learn more with the brand new IntelliCode extension team completions on this episode of Visual Studio Toolbox. Hey everyone, welcome to Visual Studio Toolbox. I'm your host, Leslie Richardson, and today I'm joined by Katie Caldwell, who is a senior program manager on the Visual Studio IntelliCode team. Welcome, Katie. How you doing? <laughs> Hi, Leslie. Sweet. So, IntelliCode is one of those features that I think a lot of us find ourselves using on a regular basis in Visual Studio without even realizing it. So, mm -hmm. can you tell us more about what it is? Uh, sure. Um, so, IntelliCode is this set of AI-assisted developer tools that are available to you in Visual Studio. So, if you've seen those um, starred completions that pop up in your IntelliSense list when you're typing, um, you know, uh, like a class, um, yeah, that's IntelliCode. We sort of are assisting you as you're typing to make you more productive. Not gonna lie, I absolutely love those stars when they pop up as I start <laughs> typing, like, less work for me to do. Awesome, not my problem. <laughs> so word on the street is that there's a new extension to uh, IntelliCode called Team Completions, right? So can you tell us a little more about that? Uh, yes, um, uh, Leslie. So we actually introduced uh, completions or IntelliCode completions about two years ago during build 2018. And since then, we have been working on um, some other features, um, more specifically, like you mentioned, team completions. Um, so the base completions were learned and trained off of open source re uh, repos in GitHub, um, and that they sort of provide you some of those um, you know, those completions based off of like common um, open source uh, uh, repo usage. Um, but what happens when you have, you know, custom types within your code base, which happens all the time, right? Um, right. Team completions provides you with completions based off of your own code or tailored to your own code. That's really cool. So if I'm like new to the project or that particular repo, I don't necessarily need to know every um, method name or function call or property under the sun because IntelliCode can give me that suggestion, right? Um, exactly. And so team completions really is just uh, learning from your own patterns and your or your own team's patterns. So it's great for that scenario. So if you are an onboarding developer um, to your team, you can just sort of use some of these common, um, you know, properties or types automatically and, and, and sort of helps you sort of get onboarded really, really quickly. Cool. Well, I'd love to see team completions in action. Got a demo for us? I do actually. So I'm going to head over to Visual Studio now and share with you um, how team completions works from the client. Awesome. Cool. Okay. So if, as I mentioned before, you're probably familiar with um, custom code completion or with um, regular IntelliCode completions. Um, so as I'm typing, you can see the IntelliSense list pop open. So as you can see, you'll see the IntelliCode stars here. My favorite icon. <laughs> yes. And so this is, um, as I mentioned, trained on thousands of open source repos, and it is based off of usage. So um, right line is a very common method. And therefore, when I'm typing console um, and invoking uh, that class, um, you know, the method right line is more likely is what I'm going to use. As you can see, I've used it above as well. So it's a very common class, right? Um, or a common method. Um, so um, what happens, like, as, as I've shown you, is, like, I have the Magic 8-Ball solution open. And so if you're probably familiar with Magic 8-Ball, it's like, you you know, it's like the physical 8-Ball where you shake and you get, so, you know, uh, you yeah. ask the question and it gives you yes or no or other things, right? Mm -hmm. um, the thing that so always tells me what I don't want to hear. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, and so um, I've created, um, I've actually written um, a console app, which sort of simulates that same sort of magic eight ball experience. And um, as I did that, I actually wrote my own, um, as you can see, I've created magic eight ball, I've created a class called magic eight ball. Um, and I actually invoke it in a couple different places. So I'm going to go to program.cs. And so you can sort of see where I'm actually um, using that magic eight ball class, right? Yep. And so uh, generally what will happen is um, let's actually just, uh, I'll just rewrite um, the above. 
So you can see um, if I actually try to use the Magic 8-Ball class, I'm getting that IntelliSense list pop open, which is giving me um, you know, uh, some of the uh, methods that are available in the class. However, I'm not getting those starred completions as I just showed you before, right? Mm -hmm. right. Um, so how do I get that? And so um, what we've actually worked on is the ability to actually train a model um, uh, to get those sort of those stars for um, that magic eight ball class. And so I've already built this solution, um, you know, right before uh, starting up this demo. Um, and once after you build the solution in Visual Studio, um, we've now enabled this gold bar to pop open. Um, after a successful build. Um, and it allows you to actually set up an automatic training of these team completions uh, for um, Magic 8-Ball for this solution. And so um, all I have to do is click yes, enable it. Um, but as you can see, I can click this, um, which will take me to the documentation to learn um, sort of what is happening behind the scenes. Um, but let's click yes, enable it, and then I'll walk you through what's happening behind the scenes. Cool. So I clicked yes, enable it. And so as I do that, uh, what it does, it takes me to the Visual Studio IntelliCode UI where I learn a little bit about what's happening behind the scenes. So what's happening behind the scenes is that IntelliCode is analyzing um, this solution. So it's analyzing Magic 8-Ball um, locally. And it's sort of understanding um, sort of the types that are available and um, their usage across the solution. And, and then what it does is it then sends that to the IntelliCode service. Um, and then IntelliCode will actually um, use our compute and actually generate a, a model um, that will provide these, these team completions back to my solution. And as I mentioned, our uh, model is ready. And so let's go back to program and let's actually see it working. So before, as you could see, we weren't getting those, those stars for Magic 8-Ball. But now let's see if we can get those stars once we invoke. And look at that. Oh, awesome. That's super cool. That's so we're now, seeing, we're now seeing those IntelliCode stars, um, which is super, super helpful. As you mentioned the scenario, if I'm onboarding as a developer um, to a new team, um, I can, like, using these stars would be super, super helpful. And so, awesome. yeah, and so this is a way to get those stars um, directly in Visual Studio. Um, but let's say that you're working in a uh, repository that just is like really, really fast um, uh, churning. So, um, you know, everyone is like pushing new code every single day and um, you're not able to train this model as, as often because from Visual Studio, um, IntelliCode will decide when to train. Um, and right now, we're only training every 30 days. Um, and that way, it just sort of helps us distribute the load and, and make it so that um, we're able to sort of provide these awesome stars to everyone, right? Mm -hmm. But let's say that you want to automatically um, uh, you refresh these completions um, for your team. So how do you do that? Um, so we actually have um, enabled uh, a GitHub action. Um, and I'm actually going to um, head over there. And as I head over there, I'd love to talk to you a little bit more about, um, you know, what is this GitHub action for team completions? Yeah, that's a new buzzword I've been hearing around lately. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you, I showed you um, team completions in Visual Studio. Um, how about what if I want to automate these code completions um, for my team and actually every single push on my team um, to my repo, I'm able to get these completions. So we have a GitHub action that does just that. So I'm gonna head to GitHub and show you our GitHub action mm -hmm. in action. <laughs> so what is a GitHub action? Um, so a GitHub action is a way to um, sort of automate some um, something that, you know, like anything. So right now, like the IntelliCode team completions is, an, is a GitHub action. Um, it's a way to sort of automate some process as part of your CI workflow. Um, so if your team is using like uh, GitHub or using Azure DevOps to actually um, 
perform their uh, their CI. Um, so every time your code is being pushed and, and merged into um, a sort of a main branch, um, then um, you can actually set up an action as part of that CI workflow to actually train the same model for completions um, and then distribute it to everyone who has access to that repo. Um, so that's a very high level of what it is. Um, but uh, yeah, IntelliCode has started to use, um, you know, GitHub Actions to, to, to make it easier to automate some of these like cool things that we do in the inner loop um, as part of your team's outer loop. Um, yeah, it's so, great because I know CI/CD yeah. things are not the greatest workflows to set up. Sometimes they can be a little hard to do. Oh, yeah. It, it, actually, we've made it really, really simple. And so I'll walk you uh, through for, at a very high level of, of what the, our our GitHub action does for IntelliCode team completions, um, and then I'll just share with you and show you um, how it runs in action. It's very, very simple um, to set up. So. Um, if you're seeing my screen, you, you should be able to see sort of our GitHub action on the GitHub um, uh, marketplace. Um, and so um, here you'll see what the requirements are for setting this up. And I've actually written out um, a sample YAML file, which is sort of really declaring as part of your, your workflow what this, um, how to use this action. And so if you can tell that on push um, to our main branch, um, we're actually enabling IntelliCode to train a model for these team completions. And so as I mentioned before, this makes it so that if I set this up for my team um, and this repo, um, I'm able to share these team completions with everyone um, you know, in my, uh, like who has access to this repo um, without them having to do anything. They just automatically get these completions without actually having to do anything on their, their part. That's really cool. Um, so like, yeah, if somebody changed like the context of a specific function or something without your knowledge, then you're still going to get that update that tells you the new way to use exactly. that function. Exactly, Leslie, exactly. And so what I've done is to do just exactly what you, what you said. Um, let's actually go to a shared repo that I have with someone else on my team. Um, as you can see, this is a previous training that I did that was successful, right? Um, so I'm going to actually run through this to show you that it's so simple. So it doesn't have to be a function update um, to sort of train this model. Um, what I did was I actually earlier today um, just just um, wrote out some sample code in a README file, right? Um, and it doesn't have to be this text. Let's just let's just say demoing um, GitHub action or team completions. I'll put IntelliCode in there so you can remember that's IntelliCode. Mm -hmm. um, awesome. and, and so all you have to do is commit these changes. So updating the README. And so I will commit them directly into our main branch um, just for the sake um, of this demo. And what I'll do is I'll go to the actions. And as I said, I defined in my YAML that on push, we're going to train um, uh, a model for team completions. However, I could have defined it any way. I could, I, could, I could say, you know, it doesn't have to be on every single push. It can maybe be on a push to a specific branch if I want to. It doesn't have to be for the main branch. Um, but let's actually go see what's happening. So um, I'm looking into the IntelliCode team model trainer, which you can find in the action section um, of that repo. Um, and let's actually see what's happening. So as you can tell, uh, what's happening is we're training. So we've already set up the, the job, we're running the action. So we're actually running our GitHub action. Um, and it's going based off of that definition that I've, I've already written in that YAML file. Um, and now we're actually running, um, we're running and, and actually um, computing our new model. And so, nice. Um, so yeah, and this should take no longer than you know a minute. Um, I've I've done this earlier today just to to prep myself for this. But um, yeah, what's happening behind the scene is the exact same thing that happened from Visual Studio. Um, so it is analyzing the code in this repo. Um, it is um, finding all the types and the type usage. It's sending that to the Intel Code service. Um, and then it's computing a, um, a machine learning model um, for this repo. And then it's sending this back to this repo. 
So as you can tell, uh, what we've done is I've created a model and it's the C sharp model and it it's just been updated. It says when it was originally created and when it's been updated and when it was last trained. And now you can see that it is actually complete. So this is all you need to do to set up um, your GitHub action and run it and actually get a model. So now anyone who has access to the top-down shooter repo, um, they are able to get the start completions, which is super, super cool. So, so either way from Visual Studio, which we in Telecode will will schedule and, and train a model for you if you set up automatic training in Visual Studio, or from our GitHub action, you can get these team completions um, and really help your team be more successful. That's very exciting. Who doesn't want to be more productive and feeling like they don't have to pull their hair out, just <laughs> freaking out over what, what do I do with all these functions? I don't understand the context of this, that, or whatnot. So very exciting. So, I mean, every good thing comes at a cost, right? So what are some of the limitations that the team completions currently has that people should be aware of? Um, so I think the limitations that I will mention is that um, from Visual Studio, um, where you're only able to set up the automatic training in Visual Studio for C Sharp projects. Um, so we are um, considering expanding to more languages, but for right now, um, this is only C Sharp. Um, uh, it's only available for C-sharp developers and training for C-sharp projects. Gotcha. Um, from uh, for our GitHub action or our Azure DevOps build task, if you would, if you're on Azure DevOps for your CI um, uh, or using Azure DevOps for your CI workflows, um, we are available for both C-sharp projects as well as C++ projects. So that's only our CI-based um, model training for team completions. Um, and uh, you should feel free to, you know, try it out. Um, we do have some uh, some build configuration options that are a bit limited from CI, um, but we are mainly um, available for um, just MS build. If you're familiar with MS build, um, uh, and uh, uh, a couple other um, options are available that you can you can find um, on our GitHub Action um, uh, Marketplace site. Um, so just search um, get up our GitHub Action on the Marketplace. It's called IntelliCode Team Completions, and you'll see the list of all the limitations. So uh, MS Build and CMake are the build agents that we are limited to for our GitHub Action. Cool. And can I use this in VS Code? You cannot. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. this is a Visual Studio um, feature for right now. Um, we are, are considering expanding to Visual Studio Code, um, but we are first trying to make sure that we delight our Visual Studio uh, developers. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And finally, speaking of expanding, what's next for IntelliCode? Oh my goodness, we have so much up our sleeve. So IntelliCode is working with um, just sort of the top of the line researchers, um, like who have been researching developer productivity. And we are working on uh, intelligent snippets. Um, we're also working on um, completions by example for date time formatting, as well as regular expressions. So which great, is I hate date time <laughs> formatting. <laughs> Uh, yeah. um, we're also working on, um, if you're probably familiar with our suggestions feature, it was formerly known as repeated edits. We are working on sharing those with your team, just like we have completions that are shared with your team. So uh, we're working on our team suggestions feature. Um, and we're also working on um, some other cool features like um, whole line completions. Um, and so we definitely demoed that last year at Ignite and we are still working on that experience and hoping to have uh, a preview of that in the in a uh, just a few short months. Um, so uh, we're doing a lot of things to really promote the best practices for your team and to really unblock those onboarding developers to just get them to be as, you know, uh, awesome and qualified to, you um, to, to sort of focus and um, and get more focus time as anyone else who's been on your team for um, for longer than a day. Um, and we're really trying to help um, 
ensure that people can feel like they're doing the most creative work that they want to and, and sort of removing those tedious tasks. So um, yeah, and if you have any um, you know wants, feel free to go to the IntelliCode GitHub page and provide us with your top feedback of, of other features you're interested in, because we really want to help every part of the developer experience, including you know all the nits that you find at the code review time. We want to make it so that it's it's less you know um, onerous and tedious um, and really really fast. Um, uh, to just sort of save you that time. Sounds great. It's gonna be really scary in like the next couple of years when we've reached the point where new, uh, new people starting their new jobs are coming out of the first day. Like, yeah, I just wrote a whole program in one day, thanks to stuff like <laughs> IntelliCode and, you know, <laughs> and she's just like, what wow. did you do on your first day? Uh, I set up BS. <laughs> No, we're trying to remove that whole sort of configuration hassle, right? Like, yeah. you know, if, if people didn't have to just ha uh, set up everything on their first day, if they didn't have to sort of fight with like making sure that they have permissions to the right things, like if they didn't have to like, you know, learn, you know, all these different libraries and making sure that they had the right libraries. Um, and if they, they didn't have to sort of fight with like, you know, old code and new code, like we're really trying to sort of help that experience. Um, and it's not to, it's not to really assist you per se, but really what we're trying to do is we're tr like IntelliCode is really, um, you know, our mission is really about making sure that you have the focus time to just be creative. Um, that like, there's just so many aspects to being a developer that like, you know, changes so quickly. And, you know, the half-life of a developing a developer skill, um, you know, or even learning a, a coding language is often just like, I think it was like 18 months, a few months ago. And now it's like even down to like nine months, you know, like, <laughs> You know, what if like you could just sort of harness that wisdom from not only to the broader, you know, generic community, but also your team and like learn and use those best practices from the team to really sort of help you just, you know, sort of, you know, save you time from onboarding, save you that that extra energy that you're putting in to like learn what like, you know, the practices are those those um you know, whatever the, the styles, you know, that exist or the, um, you know, what if you didn't have to do that? What if you just, you know, started typing and you just were able to, um, get all these stars or get all this, this, this help that really, um, just saves you time. Um, and so that is really what we're all about. We're just trying to promote, um, not just common practices, but promote the best practices um, from your team and from others to really help you be, you know, the most productive and creative uh, developer that you want to be. Sounds great. Well, thank you so much for being on the show, Katie. This was super cool tool. I can't wait to, I'm definitely going to be turning it on on my personal repos because, I mean, I barely remember the kinds of functions I write. <laughs> so, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so thanks for being here and until next time, happy coding. Happy coding.